Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benny Don by Anna. Welcome to the early morning on Benny Don's Levante Beach. It's the first time ever that I show you Benny Dom this early. It's 8 a.m. on a Thursday morning, and this is how Benny Dom is looking like. The first sunlight are crossing through the skyscrapers and making their way towards the Levante beach. Since it's still so early, there are basically no people on the beach except for those who are doing some sports, the owners or workers of different bars and restaurants that are here already to prepare the terraces and the tables for the opening for another work day out here. This place, for example, from first thing in the morning already has some people inside, which is absolutely incredible. Probably having some nice breakfast with gorgeous views towards the Levante beach. In summer, even this early in the morning, the beach usually is already quite full. First thing in the morning, there's there uh, usually are, in summer I mean, there usually are uh, many umbrellas and small beach chairs that are being put by, oops, grandpas, grandmas, um, pensioners of this area, locals mostly, uh, who are blocking the way towards the sea and putting their chairs on the front line the closer to the water the better the cable ski booth is here already this is a water sports facility that is open and it is already available for you guys if you want to do something special during your holidays the beach is clean and tidy and you can see that the second half of the beach, including the old town and Poniente Beach, already have a lot of sunshine. Rincon de Loig is the one that is getting the sunshine the latest because there are a lot of tall buildings here and it's just difficult to get the sun on these streets. But in just a couple of hours, Levante Beach Promenade will be sunny and shining. Many people are walking down the promenade already, surprisingly, and some of them are heading to the beach bars. For example, this one, Bikini Beach Bar. It's also not strange to see people going back to their hotels from a nice and fun night out at numerous night pubs, night bars, and night clubs. And this is the time when you can actually see people still heading with some cups in their hands with combo drinks, um, going back for a good hours of sleep and recovery. All the sunbeds are also in place. This year we have slightly more sunbeds. We thought it was not possible, but it is. Trust me, even more sunbeds, paid sunbeds, I mean, have been put in place this year. This is the brand new building that will be all about the sea. It's a museum of a kind, a new place to visit that the Municipal Hall is building right now. And it's almost, almost done. This is how it's looking like. A touristic sustainability project, almost 800,000 euros worth. Wow, that's a lot of money. And this place will be available for a visit probably by this summer 2023. So the sun beds, those of you who still don't know it, every now and then, every summer season that we uh, overpass in this channel, we always let you know what the norms are. On the beach, if you want to book a sunbed, you just lie down on it, you take it, and shortly after, there is a person who will be coming to you. Uh, usually they wear a white t-shirt they have like a money bag like a small bag on their waist and this is where they uh, keep all the tickets you just say how many you need like one two sunbeds maybe an umbrella and they uh, give you the tickets for it an umbrella these uh, blue umbrellas usually they cost six euros for the whole entire day 
and each sunbed also costs six euros uh, you pay this amount of money you need to pay it in cash um, as for now I still don't think they use uh, bank machines I think it's all cash only so bear that in mind bring smaller money to pay for it uh, and afterwards what you do basically is uh, they give you a ticket you keep it with you just in case someone comes and asks you can show this ticket you're able to use this sunbed or any other sunbed so imagine if you're coming first thing in the morning you use one of them then you would like to go and have a snack or discover the town if you want you can keep your towels on them if not you can take everything with you and then come back to this or any other sunbed since you have paid the whole day of use you can just show the ticket to the person whenever they come and that's not going to be any kind of issue for you guys obviously for the next day you're not able to use this ticket anymore uh, i think they're even different colored or there's a date on them to make sure it's on this particular day use and then you'll just need to pay for another ticket this is how it works but there is still quite a lot of space at least for now for people who don't want to pay extra and still want to enjoy the beach so you're able to bring your own towels your own umbrellas your own um, beach chairs or sunbeds but obviously the best spots um, sadly are taken by these they're called amacas like hammocks uh, but they're basically sunbeds so the best places are taken by them let's head slightly closer towards the sea and see how it's looking like this is the time when the water is still not too warm but it's not cold either we are about to reach 19 degrees c temperature right now which is absolutely great a lot of people are already swimming in the mediterranean sea for us for locals it's still slightly too cold but shortly we will be able to swim here as well the benidorms island is right in front of us the cable ski and oh there are already quite some people walking down the beach bare feet obviously to feel all this energy of nature and have a relaxing walk by the sea which is absolutely great since the summer season is already uh, officially starting uh, i would like to remind you that on the beach you need to be careful with your belongings uh, usually don't try and bring big huge bags with you if you can just go with um, maybe like a towel a bottle of water a sun hat sunglasses that's it don't bring anything else with you uh, you can bring your phone in this the water protecting type of case that are really popular especially in summer simply because it's not recommended to leave your things here on the beach obviously benidorm is not the unsafest place to be it's quite safe here but summer season is when we see many people lose their things or get their things stolen because they've left them on the beach and went to have a nice swim in the sea so bear that in mind leave them in the safety deposit box your belongings in the hotel in the apartment wherever you are staying keep them safe or leave at least someone and do turns in order to swim in the sea uh, because like this your belongings will be maintained safely during your stay here in benidorm town also on the hottest days on the busiest days especially on weekend there are many people that are selling cocktails on the beach they try and seem like they are coming from the bars nearby um they wear like colorful t-shirts they have a um like a tray where they put all the drinks but usually they don't work for any kind of bar they don't work for establishments nearby what they do is they buy the cheapest ever alcohol that they can find um sometimes and usually it's not of the best quality one trust me because they want to make a profit so they buy the cheapest thing they can ever get in the supermarket they mix it in their car or in the back of their car in the truck 
and then they just bring it to the beach they sell it and they actually get quite a good profit out of it the issue is that since it's not the best quality alcohol since it's not the best quality drinks a lot of people are getting sick afterwards so if you can avoid these type of cocktails bear that in mind and it's better to go to any kind of bar and ask for a takeaway they always have some plastic cups that they can give you um ask a cocktail from there and bring it with yourself and to be honest with you it's usually not really allowed any kind of drinking on the beach by itself so be careful although police they don't give fines for it but still you know it's better to avoid any kind of issues these are two tips for today so that your holidays will be slightly more safe here we have king coco oh they've put a lot of colorful things out here before when they just opened it this place uh they didn't have any kind of colorful decorations right here on the top it just said king coco on the menu and on the entrance and that's it but now they put some nice design out here they have quite nice food and cocktail options as well although it's just a tiny bit more expensive than a typical local bars that locals used to go this is how Benidorm's Levant Beach is looking like at first thing in the morning. Mostly it's um, people who are doing some sports. Copacabana bar right there on the right side is already here. It's still here. It's open. Just so that you know, because I remember someone asked us in the comment section a while ago if Copacabana was still available. And yes, it actually is. So apart from people doing sports, there are people who are going to work, those who work in all these lovely Benidorm bars, restaurants and cafeterias that serve so, so many tourists and locals their meals and favorite foods every single day. Also, cleaning services are here, as you can see. Every single morning from early, early on, they start to clean the beach, they clean all the paths, they take all the garbage, all the litter, uh, as well as tractors are cleaning it at night time so that every single day, whenever you come to the beach, you would see a nice and clean place that is inviting you to sit down or lay down and enjoy your time out here. There are many, many municipal workers uh, that you will be able to see first thing in the morning on all beach areas in Benidorm. The same is happening at a small beach in the old town which is called Malpas and on the Poniente beach. The Tiki beach here looks so quiet, so calm and relaxing but shortly in just a couple of hours they will start to build the terrace back again. Well they are doing it already, they're cleaning it all up after yesterday's fun and it will be full by midday thank you for accompanying us on today's short informative walking tour down the early morning on the levante beach i hope you enjoyed watching it i wish you a lovely lovely day and if you are coming on holidays shortly stay safe enjoy relax and make sure you explore as much as you can in our lovely region of Benidorm in Costa Blanca. Bye, dears.